Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Crossplay Central 101. My name is Chris, and today I am joined by... Brayden. And we're going to be watching some Tyler Wallace with you guys. So he is also, like Louis Kishino, you know, we just watched a third-year junior, uh, this time out of the Big 12 at Oklahoma State. Honestly, at 6 foot 185 as of now in July, unofficially. Uh, and currently just over 20 years old. So uh, I'm pretty sure you might not have even ever heard of Tyler Wallace, but if you have, any thoughts going in? I mean, I've... No, I'm, I'm not. I'm all right. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, he is the... one of the next emerging wide receivers at Oklahoma State. Uh, after guys like James Washington have come out of there recently, amongst a whole host of others, uh, their receiving coach there is actually really, really, really good. Uh, in fact, I think it's the same guy that's been there since Justin Blackman uh, was the receiver out of Oklahoma State. So throw back to when he was the number four pick with the Jags, I think it was. Uh, this guy's been mm -hmm. developing receiver after receiver after receiver, and Tylen Wallace is the next in that line. Uh, so, very interested to see uh, what he looks like. I've already checked out a small portion of one of his games to see if it was worth watching further, and I liked what I saw for the most part, so hopefully the other games and the rest of the one that I saw uh, that can continue to be the case. Uh, so, I will warn you guys, though, for, for those of you guys who are coming here after watching the Chanel video, uh, quarterback play is not exactly going to get much better. Uh, so yeah. we're going to start with the, if my thing will load here. There we go. The Texas game. And, uh, yeah, I think Taylor Cornelius is their quarterback. I'm pretty sure that's his name. And he is also, like Louis Cachino, number two. And one other thing that you guys will notice, and this is in the game that I watched, so I'm actually watching this one fresh. Um, but in the game that I started watching, his blocking was not really all that great. In fact, honestly, you could probably call it his biggest weakness uh, from the small traits and, and things that I got to pick out. So for those of you guys looking to kind of compare him in some ways to Chanel to kind of see where these guys fit together in the class, uh, that is going to be one of the biggest separators between, well, actually, to be fair, not even him and Chanel, but Chanel and the rest of the class. Uh, at this point, it's going to be that blocking ability. Nice pass there, at least. I appreciate this camera angle. Oh, thank God. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. I would have liked to known how that happened. The same. We don't even get a replay. That's a sad L. So, again, while well, this is actually really a to pause, you get to see those hands flashing. God, I'd love to see that. I and mean, that's one of the things that attracted me to him originally as well, uh, is you get to really see those hands. And also, uh, based on the end result, of course, as you said, we don't really know how it happened to be this way. Uh, but regardless of whether he created it with his hands, he created it with his uh, feet, or he just did it with his mind and recognizing mental space, he still did a very, very, really nice job of creating the separation here. And he basically split these three defenders right down the middle, found the opening space. You see his hands up, his head up because he's able to keep his mm -hmm. hands on the football. And then just takes off and again, recognizes, has a really, really nice field vision and open space, and then just is able to power through. So the field vision is there, the mental processing is there, the ability to find open zones. This is very aggravating. 
not being able to see him. Ah, yeah. Nice hand release move there. Kind of got to see it at the bottom of the screen a little bit. Time again. Giving him a little bit more separation this time. That was actually a pretty decent blocking technique. Nice yeah, job of getting in between the defender's shoulders. Nice hand release at the line. And actually, I'm going to go back and replay that for a second. Slow this down a little bit. And I'm going to point out here... Oh, this isn't the play, I don't think. Yes, it is. Quick hand with nice punch. All right. Yeah. I had to go... Can you rewind? I had to go take care of a situation real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going over this play here. It's a fourth and one. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. And you're going to see walls at the top here. Nice. Nice hands. Yep. And then he's able to hold that boundary really nicely. Got to love that Big Ten, Big Twelve defense. Jeez. That was a horrific throw. <laughs> yeah. That, sh that, that should have been a touchdown. That, yeah, that should have been a touchdown. He's actually doing a really nice job in this game of squaring up, which is nice to see. Yeah. One thing I've seen that he's better at than Chanel at, at least to this point, is he's better at finding the open space. I mean, yeah, that looks like a not bad job. It's like he's, he's better. Ooh. That was a, okay, so uh, contested catching isn't there on that particular play. But you're going to see this. He made him take, he made that. And this is what happens when you give a, a, a guy like him space. Boom. Just completely jukes him out. And that was really nice recovery by the defensive back to be able to contest that catch. But still, yeah. that was a Andy Isabella-like route cut. His footwork is really, really quick. That was a rip throw on the feed. Oh man. oh, man. Do you see that space? Yeah. I wish I was able to see how he got into said space, but, you know. So it looked like they played him off, and he just completely sold the comeback route. But there was, a, what, five at least yards of yeah. separation? And you're getting a terrible throw, but, man. He is, his route running is something that was really, really flashing to me early. Same thing there. Yeah. Oh, and what a catch. What a catch. So, looks like it's just going to be an outside dig. Maybe. It, and then he just. Maybe a curl. Yeah. Yeah, maybe an outside dig or. I was saying it looked kind of like an out route based on the angle he was jumping at. And you get to see the hand splash. You see? Yeah. No. Yeah, I already said my piece. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so you really get to see the hand splash. And honestly, man, this is... This skill set. Oh, that was a nice move, too. You want to win that inside. He, he's a one... Again, he's a lot better, at least early on, at getting into... Getting into space than Chanel is. I just have to take out the block by the defender. Not necessarily criticizing LaVisca because he's fine at it, but he's just so good with it, you know? He's doing a lot better this game at blocking than I was expecting, which is nice. 
Oh, I thought the quarterback had it. I was like, yeah, that's a touchdown and a half. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I wasn't doing 6 2. Top of the screen this time. Oh, that was curl route. Oh, that was a. Did he slip or was that just a bad throw? Both. Oh, that's tough. It looked like the throw was a little high, but he did slip. Yeah. Still, though, All I right. mean, again, obviously, this is at full speed. So we are getting to see things a little bit faster than we did with Limus. And we didn't really talk about Shino's athletic ability or anything because that's not really an issue. Um, but yeah. I'm, I, I'm using these on full speed. And just, man, the strikes, too. You see on this frame. Really nice long stride, but he, it's still quick launched. It's compact movement. Yeah. Nice job there again of avoiding the defender. Nice hands catch. And just, as you mentioned several times already, his field vision yeah. is upper echelon. That's the third time. He's about to absolutely die from this cor from this defensive back. Well, we know he's not because we just saw the play. But um, oh. one, two, three, triangle. That's the third time he's been quote triple covered. Um, oh, that's tough. That's real tough. He's just making people miss. He's, he's finding soft spots. It's really nice to see. Oh, that was a nice physical. Oh, that was nice. These route concepts are obviously much improved from what we saw with Shinyo too. So that is something to keep in mind. Not that well, Oklahoma the, It's improved by the fact that there's route concepts. <laughs> Not to say that I completely love Oklahoma State because they're one of my biased wise least favorite teams in the country, actually. Never really been a fan of theirs. But You are absolutely no no I'm not killing with my And a nice quick hitch route. Yep. Nice outside release on the boundary. It's a really nice job of getting to his spot really quickly. Uh, and I think that this mm -hmm. kind of shows off not really so much even his explosion, uh, which is something that we'll end up seeing later if I remember correctly. Uh, but his agility and his fluidity in space. And his ability to, I guess, kind of pick his spot on the field and be able to kind of just get there in a swift uh, pace. Mm -hmm. He knows where he has to go. Same thing. I, he just looks, he gets to his spots. Good throw away. Can line up inside, which of course being six foot is probably a good thing. Nice separation. And I also like... Oops. My fault. At least it was a wrong play. Can you, like... Man, I had to back up two plays. Is this the play I'm looking for? Yeah. I need go for it.
Yeah, so what I like here is he's able to create, and, and third and long too, uh, first off, knowing where the first sound marker is, which is, again, that field awareness, that vision, uh, really, really nice. But uh, in terms of the separation here, hmm, sorry, in terms of the separation here, uh, he's able to create with both his arms and his legs, right? So you'll see here, boom. And he's able to come down with the impact. So really nice job of using all four limbs to create space. Nice physical block. And we talked about this a little bit with Chanel a little bit. Uh, and it's one of the things that we'd like to see him improve is I want mm -hmm. I love how Wallace here gets behind this linebacker and he's right he splits him. He's right in between the two defensive backs and he's gonna have all this of course the balls basically had no chance of getting to him. But in terms of his position on the route, he has tons of open space because he's able to split the two defenders in terms of uh, distance. Ooh, nice undercut. Okay, and that time he goes over. So what you're going to see here is a little bit of variance, right? So on this play, oh, no, that play goes over as well. I made it up too far or not enough? So, oh, no, that's what I wanted to show is the top of the route. So, here at the top, he's going to go over and then cut back underneath. And here, he's going to have the open space at the line of scrimmage on the release. So, he's able to kind of start under, but this corner blitzes, so he just takes the over the top. Of course, he's in run place. Uh, obviously. Nice physicality. And, okay, so I really like the way he uses his angle here. Uh, on this particular play, he's trying to keep... Whoops, that's too far. He's trying to keep the defender, obviously, off of his uh, runner here. It's a nice chip shot on him there, but then, on the recovery, right there, he uses his angle and keeps that wing free. Which I think, nope, third one. That was a disaster. Over the top. Nice, high point. Uh -huh. I was getting ready to say that was a god-awful throw. It wasn't really the greatest of throws, but I, the high point and the ball tracking skills are going to show off. Really Lord. Well here. Boom. Does a really nice job of keeping his eyes on the ball at all points, not really giving away ball's position, making the defender do his his job. And then the defender actually does a pretty nice shot here, number two for Texas. I'm pretty sure that's Chris Boyd. He actually doesn't do a very bad job of getting up. He He's actually attempting to make a pretty decent play on this ball. But Tylen Wallace here just does an excellent job first of tracking the ball, second high pointing the ball, and third off, using his hands to make this catch. And then, yeah, he's and finishing in. the play. It's really, really good job on, on Wallace, especially for a six-foot guy. You're not, again, a Mike Evans type of six-five, big body type, Mike Williams, big body receiver. He's more of a finesse type, as we've seen already. Find those routes, find those zone holes, recognize defense type of guys. So for him to also show the ability to win those contested catch type situations, you're really getting a very versatile receiver who can fill a variety of roles both down the field and in the short and intermediate range, winning in a variety of ways, which is kind of what's going to add to his value next year as the draft season progresses.
slot work here as well. And I've already pointed this out a couple of times, but one thing that I, another thing I like too is, as well as his ability to win in various of ways, this is very easy alignments, right? So partially that's due to actually being used appropriately, unlike you know. But we will see him lined up outside in a one on one. We will see him lined up in a trip. We will see him lined up in the slot. Uh, just in over and on both sides of the field. We've seen him left up, lined up on both the left and the right side of the quarterback as well, both the X and the Z. So, overall, they used him against a, a different set of corners uh, and a different set of uh, formations as well. Deep shot. That was a brutal throw. Okay, he kind of stuttered a little bit there. For just a split second, he slowed down a little bit. And that allowed number two for Texas, you think it's Chris Boyd, uh, to kind of make that recovery. But yeah, the, the throw wasn't exactly the greatest either. So it goes both ways. Nice decision by Cornelius there. Hey, he pulled the Josh Rosen. That was a nice eight gap flex by Tom Herman. Over the top again. Boom. Oh, that was a slick cut. All oh, that efficiency. Efficiency. I talked about this a lot last year when I did all my receiver breakdowns. But the efficiency in motion on this play is extraordinary. And I'm actually going to slow this down all the way so we can point out the specific frame here. All right. Right there. Boom. This corner turns out. With the slightest bare motion there, he is able to take this inside leverage on the cut. And, and he forces the... And goodbye. I was just saying goodbye. Yeah. And he completely spin cycles this corner, forces him to lose speed on the reverse. And there's that's where he creates all the separation on number two. Which allows him to make the easy catch down field. Nice hands catch as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's really with it, and I've said this several times already, but it's something that really, really stands out to me is the efficiency in motion. It's almost unparalleled. It gives me Calvin Ridley vibes in a lot of ways. Just his ability to really be compact in his movement while still having uh, covering it, the ability to cover ground over a large portion of the field. It, that combination is very, very rare. Uh, and in terms of both his ability to run short area as well as long area, I love it so much. And that's why what really attracted me to him, to him to me or me to him uh, when I first put on the little bit of tape I watched of his. Uh, and I think that that's what's going to end up seeing him keep moving up, up, up and up the boards as we move toward uh, the season in a couple months. Well, oh, actually, we're about a month away now, uh, but still, over the course of the next couple of months into the season, uh, I think what's going to see him rise upwards is his ability to really be effective in creating gaps. And of course, I mean, yeah. this boy isn't really that great of a corner. It's not like he's matched up with like Jerry uh, Okuda, not Jerry Okuda, but like, uh, well, even Henderson is another guy in this class. Dan Slurs, the other guy I really like in this class. He's not like going against yeah. elite corners, but the things that he's doing will translate to winning against elite corners. Uh, I think it's kind of what the point I'm trying to make here is. Oh, 
Ashraf Mir, Hazel Jab. Oh man! Oh man! Ah! Uh, terrible. It's unfortunate you fell back. But well, to be fair, it was a terrible throw. The throw was abysmal. But like, just ah, oh, the route efficiency. Boom! That's so much open space on a third and eleven. And yeah, that throw turned him around, unfortunately, and it was a little bit low. Man, I could easily see him, depending on where he ends up, of course, and how he progresses over the next year or so. But in terms of where he's at right now, I can easily see him becoming a Keenan Allen esque type of mold player. Yeah. Nice open space with the hitch. Cornelius actually not doing a bad job this game at all. No. He's had a couple of bad throws, but he's not been consistently bad. Third line. Nice physicality with the blocking. Oh, now you jump. jump. Oh, nice cut off. Nice fishing by number 30. Oh. That was most unfortunate. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Play call. Play call. Nice block. Nice block. That was nice. Great job of holding without holding. So, overall thoughts on the first game you've seen him from? That was very good. He, he just, it's like he's very efficient, you know? Just he's efficient in everything he does. He's efficient in getting of, like, he's just, his entire, he's, yeah. Sorry, I lost my vocabulary for a second. It's just he, he's efficient in everything he does. He's efficient oh, off the line of yeah. scrimmage in uh, space. He's efficient in the... He's efficient in, like, creating separation. He's efficient in route running. And after the catch, he's efficient in his movement and getting away from everything. Getting away from defenders. Also with catch rate. Also with catch rate. I didn't see yeah, any drops true. or anything that game either, do you? Yeah, you maybe one you could have possibly argued, but other than that, not really. No, I didn't see one. So, yeah, so pretty nice uh, catchable balls rate as well. Uh, so, anything else you wanted to point out before we move on to the Oklahoma game, or not really? No, I'm all right. Cool, yeah. Let's move on. Off screen, got a lot of it. And I can run play, even better. Got a. Oh man, okay. He. Oh, I was a bit late. To be fair, you probably should have caught that. You yeah, know, no, I, I'm. Yeah, no, that that was a drop. Uh, 
I don't know what happened. It's like, did he get scared of the contact that there was the running back or the defender? Good Lord. Hands. He tried to arm catch it. Yeah. That was, That's just a bit of a targeting. <laughs> that was definitely late, though. Yeah. He oh, shot. Man. Well, he made up for it. Absolute destruction. Shout out to thirteen. The bottom. The the shout out to the the bottom ticker thing, so we can't see anything. But he uses absolute. That's a full yard at least. He may have been down. Yeah, just short. Yeah, yeah. They, he was just short of the goal line. Yeah, touchdown. Nice. Oh, he undercut him. That was a nice. sick cut. So obviously he has the outside boundary leverage here. Mm -hmm. Boom. And then... Excellent use of the hands to knock that outside, or rather inside hand away. And he just completely yeah. turns this corner. Bam. Uses the hands to create separation, and then the legs. Good cut inside. That was a nice catch. Dang. Uh, I, I was a real nice catch by that guy. Oh, man. Ah, oh, oh, ripped the throw. Oh. oh, he pulled a James Washington. That's that's a tough scene for that corner. He got lucky it was a bad throw. It's just the double move is really what it is. He stops and goes. The corner bites on the double move. <laughs> right here, he's like, uh, uh oh, uh oh. He did kind of get a little bit of a grab, but that was not a catchable pass. Another one? Oh, that separation at the end. That burst at the that burst at the top of the stem was really, really nice. I think that's kind of where you get to see the explosion come into play a little bit as well. So I talked a lot last year about how you want to see him win space and create distance and gaps with not only the hands but also the legs right so earlier on that earlier touchdown yeah or very near touchdown we got to see him use the hands a little bit and here we're going to see him use that 
get that right there in that step, that nice little bit of burst and create that separation with the legs over the top. Very, very nice. Hmm. Yes, here's that contact number five. Wide open. Oh. Oh man, that probably shouldn't have been caught, but the zone IQ was really nice on that play. Mm -hmm. That probably could have been better placed. They're giving him quite a bit of space, and that's what makes him so interesting, right? Is because obviously yeah. he has the ability to beat you deep. We've seen that at least five times already. He's been able to get yeah. past these corners over the top. But he also has the, the ability to quick shift on you. And if you want to use him as a screen pass when you're playing him 10 yards off, that gets you a reasonable distance on third and short. Because he has the ability to bring after the catch on a screen. So if you were to quick screen this right here, bam, he picks up six, seven, eight yards. You're facing a third and two. Because they're playing him so far off that he has the ability to either quick slant this or screen this and pick up yards after the catch. So it's really about his versatility and his ability to beat you in a variety of ways that really makes him so impactful in a full game setting. That was really nice. We're going to have to catch there by that guy. Nice. Big slam out. Double move it looked like. It looked like a reverse post corner. That was a terrible pass. And we're seeing more of the lack of quarterback ability here. That's a horse collar. Went out. Or that. Oh, that works too, I guess. Or not. That's it. It was a switch concept, is why you're in my hand. Ooh, that was a nice inside cut. I don't know how he didn't hold on to that. And you talked about finding that space. There you go. What? Yeah. No, I was just saying, again, doing a great job of finding that open space. Two, three yards. About at least five with that guy. Another five to the guy. He, uh, Coming in on the left side. Honestly, that's his best ability. Is just finding that open space. Oh, that was a nice run. That was a bit early of a throw at third and eleven, but okay. Oh, uh, please, please don't flash that again, ESPN. That that was not nice of you.
I didn't see it. What was it? Oh, it was the CU game where we just, like, got absolutely, like, quartered by uh, Washington State. Oh. So, this was actually really nice play by Wallace here. But, as they foretold at the top of this, uh, before we got started, the, the passing, I mean, he was on the run, but, like... You expect most NFL caliber quarterbacks to make this throw. Yeah. Or most good college quarterbacks. He had plenty of open spaces. Yeah. Pitch. If they're smart, they'll, if they'll, if they're smart, they'll learn a hitch play. Yep, exactly. There you go. Come on. And they at least were, they attacked the open I mean, space. Works. They just did it the wrong way. I was like, that was actually a pretty sick throw considering the pressure he was under. Yeah, that was actually not terrible. Him. Or, oh, actually, they have a fullback out there. Maybe a fullback five. Or that works too. Yeah. Powerful ball. Oh, what a hurdle. Oh! That was kind of cool. That was fun. That was a very handsy play by the corner. Hey, don't be playing. It didn't matter. They still won the title. Third and one. Yeah, my just quarterback. That was sneak. a. That was an elite <laughs> burst by the offensive <laughs> that line. That was one of the best quarterback sneaks I have seen. He got that was five yards off of that. Yeah. He got at least five yards off of that. That's wild. Rip Rockers. F. Oof, okay. Thank you, camera angle. Yeah. Right. Probably could have caught yeah. that. A little bit more inconsistent with the hands this game. Good lord, the speed on this guy. She's been making some really nice plays. Yeah. Nice Did block. they really call that a hold? I don't think so. I think there was more pointing them out the block. Oh. That was a nice catch. That was actually... Yeah, that was actually oh, dear. I will say for Cornelius, oh, as bad yeah. as he throws the ball, he's actually not terrible at avoiding pressure. And then he makes that throw somehow. Yeah. Oh, nope, they ran fade. Did he catch no, that? Incomplete. That could have been DPI. I mean, he could have caught it, but the, the dude was all over him. Some space there. Uh, wow, that was great vision. That was a sick C route. 
Oh, how do you drop that though? Oh no, dog. That that wasn't it. That was a sick route. There's at least five yards of separation there. I can't even crap on. That's just a blatant drop. Yeah, that was a that's just, <laughs> drop. So one of those guys is going to have to probably get a little bit more working with the jugs. At least based off of this game. She probably should have kept that ball. I mean, it works. Dang. Good lord. For as, as much hate as we give Oklahoma State surrounding telling, especially when Mason Rudolph was there, uh, their offensive line is just annihilating Oklahoma's defense in this game. I don't know if Oklahoma has any really good defensive line prospects, but... Uh, that implies Oklahoma knows what a defense is. I guess. All right, I was trying to make a joke. Well, I mean, it's... I get the joke. It's, I, I, they also have some pretty good defense. Oh, no, he dropped the football. That's an L. Oof. If I remember correctly, Jerome McCoy was... Oh, he was Oklahoma. I thought he was Oklahoma State or no. That was a nice catch. That was nice. And you got just the separation. Boom. A slick compact movement. Same thing. Just a very compact route. Let me take wasted motion. Don't even make him plays this game, bro. Dang. Time of 15 on third down. I don't know what's more surprising the fact that Oklahoma actually forced 15 third downs or the fact that they allowed two thirds of them. The fact that they actually gave, got to 15 third downs. Well, this would be a 16th third down. Oh, rip. Oh, no, you got to catch that, dog. Nice, holding on to that, Thailand. Oh. So, again, right? I Fourth and, and this hmm. is another thing, too, that we don't really talk a lot about with receivers, is how does your team, and, of course, part of this is coaching and scheme and playbook depending which is why we didn't really yeah. bring this up with Chanel as well as the fact that it was only one game but how does your team utilize you in key moments and this is Oklahoma Oklahoma State not the biggest rivalry of all time but it is a very big rivalry game for them in your state I believe this is in Norman so on the road uh, yes this is indeed on the road down by seven with a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Fourth and I mean, twelve. They do have all three timeouts, I think, right? Oh no, if they do, it yeah, they'll be white. They have no timeouts left. Basically, playing for a bowl game, to some degree, at the very least, to spoil Oklahoma's season. I'm pretty sure they whatever doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I'm lined up in the slot with no one on them. Because it's his own play, of course. And then, and fair enough to Cornelius. This is actually a really good ball. True. On the other hand, because of 
Wallace, who yeah. actually has tons of space to be able to place that ball in catch a position. Yeah. And uh, he just happens to be the one that makes the most of it. Now, of course, that guy's pretty open. That guy down there is probably fairly open. But he decides to go to his I'm actually one. I'm not a big fan of going for two here. I would have just kicked the extra point and sh- hope to God your defense can at least try and get a stop. Because kickers in college are kind of terrible. Wow, yep, good call. Terrible. Terrible. Throw. That was possibly one of the worst throws I've ever seen. That was brutal. I like the play idea, though. No, there was a good play call. and He was open, too. That was behind him so bad. <laughs> oh my god, when they show the circles. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this play was not on Wallace. That's a nice cut and Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, through two games, we'll start with thoughts on that game and then thoughts on him overall. So far through two. Uh, that game was a bit more interesting just because so, the only main difference between this one and that one is he showed a bit more inconsistency with his hands. That's the main difference I saw between this one and the Texas game. But other than that, still, he showed great, a great, great release, great job getting separation, you know, great route running, great football IQ to get into uh, to spaces, you know, he needs to. So. Cool. So you ready to move on to the third one? Yep. This is the one I actually started watching a little bit of. It's the Kansas State game. Hmm. Wow, this quality is too forty. Ew. No, dog. Let's at least no. get 360. I can at least see what I'm yeah. watching. Nice quick cut on the hitch. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, quarterbacks are a thing. But, focus on the positives here. Pretty good amount of separation. Distance is really nice. Oh. I like that concept. I mean, the effort was there. Yeah. As I like to say, there was an attempt. Interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing the Lions pull that play out once or twice next year. Face screen. It was a run play, but still... He's just still so good at finding the open space. Are you serious? That was just 14 and 1. 
His running backs are not looking all that bad. No. Oh, man. One of them was Justice Hill, who went in like the fourth round to the Ravens, I believe. Number five is Justice Hill. And he was, I want to say, yeah, fourth or fifth round by the Ravens. That was in the 2019 draft? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I don't know. Go ahead. I was I was about to talk about the place, so you finished your point. Yeah, I was like, I don't know who number 30 is, but yeah, number five, unless I'm completely blind, which is completely possible, is Justice Hill. Go ahead. I'm done. So one thing I'm going to point out about this play is just how quickly he is able to get off of the snap. And, of course, he's kind of being held a little bit at the bottom of the route. I really like his ability to... And he ends up showing a flag. Probably, yep. That was very interesting there, Cornelius. I think that was just a terrible play call. That was a QB draw. Yeah, it's just like he stopped and then kept That's going. That was the what part. you do on QB draw. It's just, quote, sell the pass. Boom, that curl. It may have come back. But you get to see the swiftness. And, I mean, you're probably not getting, like, a 4-3, 4-2, whatever guy, but he moves on, on film. I bet he has one of the better, if not the best, three-cone time. Three-cone? Because his ability yeah, to like he's rushing cool. is so nice. Ah. Uh. You go. It's like he's like a guy who's quicker than fast, if you get what I'm yep. saying. All right. That was picked, by the way. Word? Because mm -hmm. he drags the foot. That's what's... Got both feet in. This, I, when I remember watching that game. This guy, Shelly, I guess he plays for the Bears now. He's on the Bears training camp roster. He had like an absolutely absurd game. I think he got three picks in this game. Oh, dear. He just... It was basically him versus Tyler Wallace, like, all game long. That was a sick was... catch. Wait, what? He caught that? He slipped. And again, just nice. the ball tracking and the uh, ability to high point. That was a nice block. Oh, man. Someone got you up. Nice tight coverage by Kansas State. Rip that throw. Now, this this defense isn't actually too de too bad. It's Kansas so far. State. Yeah. It's like you're no you're you're only allowed to play defense in the Big Twelve if you have purple in your one of your main colors. <laughs> Purple people ache. Oh, that was a nice jump by Shelly. That must have been deflected. 
Yeah. That was nice. Good rack. We're not seeing a whole bunch with him of shit. We're a whole bunch of our guy with the ball. Wallace is open, guy. Yeah, you're right. It's just a self. Rip the L line. That was actually. Okay. I was about that to was, say that was actually a really sick throw, but he did end up under throwing it. Uh, nice adjustment there, though. Ooh, oh, man. Oh, man. And he, by this point, he's already coming back. Yeah. Let me see if I go back a frame or two. Broncos Twitter, that's not announcing the signing of Drew Locke's rookie contract. Five yards. Nice. Uh, he just gets up and his footwork and stuff is so sound and smooth. That was actually a pretty decent concept for fourth down play. That is not it. Okay, he still got it. I mean, Cornelius can move. Like he's not a. He has, That was an interesting play fake. And he's in. That was really that was almost really ridiculous. That was a really nice contest. Nice fake screen. That was a terrible throw, though. Yeah. Oh, he almost slipped. Still got up there, though. Boom. It's actually... It's off. Uh... That was really good ball placement, actually. Yeah. And nice arm length extension. We talked about that a little bit with Chino as well. Not as big of a thing with Wallace because he's six foot, but that guy should have caught that. I mean, other than Wallace, he's not really getting a whole lot of help for his receivers, to be fair to Cornelius. By the way, I love Kansas State uniforms. They're just so clean, you know? Yep. Just, they're not... I mean, flashy can be good, but it's just it's nice how it's just... It's just 
That was an interesting decision here, too. Speaking of interesting decisions, what was that coverage on third and one? Yeah, that that was a, that was very interesting. Is, this is basically like he basically should have just said they basically should have moved the chains for them. Like they shouldn't have even had to do that third down if they're going to play that coverage. What is he ten yards off? Yeah, like <laughs> seven, eight, like six or seven yards off. Linebackers are playing third deep. And... <laughs> yeah, on a third and one. That's... <laughs> God. What in the, what in tarnation? I think mean, part of it is because they are running a vertical concept, which is kind of silly on their part to begin with, but I still, you had to... Oh, I, okay, this makes more sense. There's a minute 43 left in the fourth quarter. And they're down by I mean, multiple scores. I mean, still, though, it's moving the chains on third down. You have to keep at least the one guy in the middle over the top down yet. I'm saying it's not as bad as it looks. It still looks bad. Yeah. They basically are just saying, yep, they're just abandoning all underneath. But then they send the blitz on third and ten. I don't know. What is it? They somehow got a first down. And I was picked off. Bye. Bye. Duke. Shelly. Oh, my Lord. He was so open, too. Yep. Yep. So. So. What do you think of Tyler Wallace? Yeah, that I've shown you all three games. Well. Very good player. Is he a junior? Yes, they're right? very junior eligible. Cool. So obviously he may or may not declare. So. I would assume. But yeah, I'm very interested to see how he continues to develop because. He already is a very polished receiver when it comes to his route running and just being like having good football IQ and good awareness, you know. And still, he's good at high pointing. He's uh, he has some problems with some drops, but definitely compared to some of the stuff I've seen in the past couple years, nothing that I can't work with, you know. That was a terrible foul call. Anyway. Sorry, I got distracted, but yeah, it's just, he seems like a very good, there's not a whole lot that's, that you can gripe with him, about him, you know? It's just, it's like, same thing with Chanel, although they do different, their main, the main ways they succeed are different, it's just they're so good at what they do to succeed that it's kind of hard to gripe, to find a whole lot of gripes into, you know, things to gripe about in their game. So I, I will be definitely inter looking forward to see how he continues to develop this season and if after this year he decides to declare or not. Cool. So uh, based on what you've seen yeah. so far, I'm assuming you're a fan? Very much so. Awesome. Well, uh, with that, hope you guys enjoyed learning about one of my early favorite receivers, uh, I'm going to be focusing on over the next 10 or so months. Couple weeks. Um, but, yeah. Couple weeks. Uh, what? Sorry, I was being an idiot to myself. Oh. Ignore me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mostly Twitter because I actually checked that. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Uh, videos like this coming up over the course of next season. We're about a little over a month away from week negative one. Uh, so. And we'll probably, at least, I'd like to do some NFL season previews for our favorite teams, you know? Oh. Cool. So we may try and do that. Sweet.
then yeah, if you guys do Lions and Broncos fans, check that out too. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two. Most importantly, as I always try and say, though sometimes I forget. Uh, but for now, hope you guys have had a fantastic day so far, and hope you guys continue to have a fantastic rest of your day. But for now, peace out.